Hello everybody, uh, I have a new video on uh, PyBullet and uh, this time I'm interested in uh, hopping robots. Basically there's uh, a lot of research been, has been done in the past on, uh, on hopping robots and it's one of the uh, nice breakthroughs that, that changed robotics from very stable, slow moving machines to something more uh, agile. So I wanted to see if with PyBullet I could model a little uh, hopping uh, robot, very simple, few blocks. So uh, let's first show uh, what I made. So basically, here it is. You see, it's uh, it's basically uh, uh, a number of blocks that are uh, that are on top of a of a of a, of a, of a, of a stick. And uh, these these blocks sort of uh, the top blocks all hold together to form a body. The side plates are there for some extra inertia, and then uh, the the small small pole at the bottom is basically the foot, and uh, it's connected to some sort of spring with with uh, with the body. And the idea is a control system that keeps that thing hopping upright and keeps the the body more or less level. Uh, if you don't do a control system, it will hop three times and then uh, jump sideways and then uh, lie down. Okay, so let's go uh, to the program. So you need PyBullet to install and then for the rest just time in NumPy. And then uh, basically you put a plane and uh, you start creating uh, a camera bodies and a, a camera position. So uh, uh, there are basically a foot, uh, a body and then uh, two types of plates, so it could be one plate, but I uh, just chose uh, the, the X direction, the Y direction plates. So uh, as normally by, uh, by bullet, you need to sort of create uh, these bodies, give them uh, a mass orientation, shape and everything. Uh, then you set up the simulation further, so you put the gravity like uh, normal, for example, minus 10, uh, make it real time. And then uh, what I found was quite nice here is to to give the, the the plane, the ground, some extra friction. If not, the, the basic friction of the of the ground plane in uh, PyBullet is a bit slippery. And then I use uh, constraint joints to uh, lock all the body parts and uh, together. And uh, while well, the side plates they stay more or less fixed, but it's it's the the constraint uh, with the, with the the foot that is a bit special that I'm uh, that I work on further. So now we go into the into the loop for the for the jumping. Uh, set some initial values and then we're gonna time step every one hundredth of a second. Uh, the, this loop is performed, and in the start of the loop, uh, compute the uh, get from the PyBullet uh, APIs the uh, the position and the orientation, and from the previous uh, values get the uh, the the velocity and the and the angular velocities as well. So once you have that, uh, we can uh, start doing uh, the jumping. Uh, there are two conditions. One is con decompression phase and the other one is not the decompression phase. The decompression phase starts when uh, the, the body has reached its lowest uh, point and the velocity starts to go up. Uh, and then uh, the other phase uh, basically starts when uh, liftoff has occurred, when uh, when the foot has come off the ground. So in the decompression phase, uh, what we do is uh, reorient a bit uh, the the body, because if the body was uh, rotating, uh, we want to sort of try to get it back to level, and I do this with a sort of PD control. Uh, if starting from the most compressed point, uh, less than eight. 80 milliseconds have passed, uh, then I add some thrust here uh, with a thrust force of 60 and then uh, after that uh, the, the, the forces go back to normal uh, forces of 30. We're not in a decompressed force, so after lift off until the next decomp uh, full decompression, uh, basically what is done is uh, as soon as we have a lift off of the foot, we reorient the foot so that uh, uh, the so that we uh, Make sure that that uh, that the the, the, the robot stay keeps on hopping and does not completely fall over. So basically, the foot is placed at a position to 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 reorient the the hopping vertically. So that's that's all. 
So uh, we're just sort of hopping now. I want to do one thing. So if I do not in the stance phase re uh, reorient the if I do not re uh, uh, orient the body, then you get uh, something a little bit less stable, which is which is this. So let me just show that to see if it if it works. So now you see it still keeps on hopping, but you see that the body now rotates in every strange direction and it's also less stable because the, the moments of inertia uh, compared to the foot start to change and uh, that has a sort of strange effect but you see overall it's still hopping quite nicely so next steps uh, I still have to think but uh, up higher lower rough terrain maybe some athletics we will see so uh, that's it <laughs>